John Thompson III was fired as the head coach of Georgetown's men's basketball team today. He served in that position for 13 years, but over the last few seasons, his teams just could not win games. Our John Henry talked to fans about the move tonight, and for many, it represents the end of an era. For four decades, a member of the Thompson family has led the Georgetown men's basketball team. But now this university and the community that surrounds it will have to adjust to change. Welcome to Tunes, a popular hangout for Hoyas in Georgetown. This restaurant attracts everyone from current students to alums like Ty Childress. He remembers when Georgetown was a basketball powerhouse. I was here from 81 to 85. It's a great time to be a Georgetown student and a basketball fan. Got spoiled, winning lots of games. But he says today is certainly not a happy day for his alma mater. The firing of John Thompson III has left many Hoya fans with mixed emotions. And it's been frustrating not to see Georgetown basketball do better and the recruiting especially not do as well. On the other hand, I have such respect for the Thompson family. Some people feel Thompson's dismissal also represents Georgetown moving away from the legacy of his father, former Hoyas men's basketball coach John Thompson. Everybody knew who he was. Damon Johnson grew up in Southeast when Big John's teams dominated college basketball. He said they gave the district something to be proud of. Georgetown basketball was Washington, D.C. When I was younger, my whole goal was to play basketball, and I wanted to play for Georgetown as well, which was like many of my friends. That's what we wanted to do because that's what we saw. On Twitter, many people wrote about the connection the Hoyas used to have with blacks in the city, too. Either way, most fans knew Big John's son always had a lot to live up to. He wasn't his dad, and I think a lot of people expected him to take the program and live up to his dad's name. They just hope Georgetown doesn't forget everything he and his father accomplished. I hope the Thompson family stays a close part of Georgetown. Now, the big question remains is who will take over the program. Everyone I talk to says they're wishing the next coach good luck. With the latest from Georgetown, John Henry, WUSA 9. As you can imagine, today's news came as a bit of a surprise to some people, and many of them turned to Facebook to share their thoughts. So here, Mike posted, it's time for a change. Good luck to John III. Robert Brown Sr., he doesn't feel so good about it. He says, bad move for the program. And Steve says, it needed to be done. Can't live off your father's accomplishments. Team has underachieved for too long now. So the question is...